let's discuss the emotions displayed by body language well body language is important because it reflects a person's emotions emotions can have a different range a span that can you know entirely complete this spectrum from aggression and power to submission and relaxation different kind of emotions each of these emotions is associated with a combination of body languages from different parts of a person's body and it is important to realize that more than a particular part of our body signaling certain emotions it is this combination of all our nonverbal actions that collectively reflect the state of mind so it is not you know only eyes talking it is not only lips it is not only about uh, posture or it is not only about the way we uh, look at someone or you know the way uh, we make faces it is not only about one body part well uh, the first emotion that we are going to discuss is uh, aggressive this is a body language as we can see in the picture well the man looks quite scary <laughs> isn't it this is how we feel but in this kind of body language this is a body language that is not easy to display yet it is very important in a professional setting there is a line that shouldn't ever be crossed i mean you can be a little aggressive to prove your point but you cannot be hurting somebody's emotions however body language that shows aggression while keeping this professional balance is considered acceptable in some cultures an element of aggression in leaders is even considered as a strength well they always say that you should have some sort of aggression as a leader otherwise you know people will take you for granted people will not listen to you people will perhaps not give you the same kind of respect that you deserve well aggressive gestures first show up through tightened jaws stiff facial muscles a somber face and straight staring eyes at this point it may be important on some occasions for the other person who is communicating to notice these subtly yet surely developing aggressive body language signals to you know take note of these signals and take a different course to you know react in a different way to calm the aggressive person who is getting ready to make some strong comments aggression develops over a time and shows itself in various ways these include thumping the table with tight fists to make a point raised voice that is the most common one animated gestures with overuse of arms and fingers and sometimes use of the whole body well very aggressive people can do that aggressive body language is usually accompanied by poor listening of perspectives from the other person a lot of times people don't listen carefully and they are in a hurry to react they are in a hurry to respond this happens with the aggressive people the aggressor typically is most concerned about making a point and having his say you know he he is like out there to prove his point he just wants to talk his heart out it does not matter to him what has been told is been understood by him or not he's he's just very much in a hurry to make his point hence when an aggressor meets another one with the same trait it often leads to unprofessional and unpleasant situations that both parties later regret to have caused of course you know the fights and totally unacceptable arguments stupid arguments the aggressor naturally gets full attention of the intended target audience he obviously you know gets the kind of attention that he is trying to expect with his aggressive kind of nature the next emotion that we are going to discuss is submissive well somewhat 
exactly opposite to aggressiveness submissive body language is easy to recognize the person holds his head down closes his body parts towards himself and nods his head you know in agreement like every now and then while the communication is going on much more frequently than desired also sometimes you know just to show that he agrees this picture which shows us the submissiveness is quite evidently talking of what we're discussing just now um through these signals he tries to communicate that he is in full agreement with and is ready to follow he is like totally ready to follow that certain particular agreement the other person's views also he understands quite clearly he keeps his chin down and sometimes has his hands on his chin as his submitting himself while listening to the other person's views this is a particular position of a submissive person he also keeps his palm open again to indicate this openness so the two different kind of emotions being very much aggressive and being submissive that is giving in